Hey guys, Phil Swart here from Create Effects. Welcome to another planar tracking tutorial. Now we have a lot to get through, so let's get started. Right, so let's just jump into Nuke now and have a quick look at what we'll be creating. What we're going to do is track in our own background and text onto this area of the wall here. Now the process, or the way we're going to do that, is first of all by rotoscoping the sign, the street sign here, and we're going to use the planar tracking just to speed up this process. And then we're going to sort of hold out that uh, sort of rotoscoping from the planar tracking of the back wall, just so that it doesn't confuse the planar tracker. And then once we've done that, we can use the rotoscoping from the street post to remove or stencil that out from our poster. So if we've got the poster here like that, we're going to remove that from it. So if we go back to see an area there where the street sign comes in, we're just going to remove that from there. And then we're going to merge that back over the original just like that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to just copy the footage and paste it over here, just to the side. I've already done that actually. And um, we'll just have a look at that. I'm just going to start off by putting a shuffle in. And this is sort of how the shuffle comes in. All I'm going to do is shuffle black into the alpha. Because if you look at the alpha here, it's got white in the alpha. I'm just literally shuffling black, just so that we've got nothing in the alpha channel when we start. Right, so if we just push tab and type in planar tracker, and we're first of all going to start off with trying to get the rotoscoping for the street sign. So now I'm just going to plug that in here. Double click on that. And then I'm just going to go to frames 2050. And then just draw very loosely around the street sign. So I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to go up to sort of this point. Okay, so now I'm going to track backwards and just watch that track back. And you can see how it sticks really nicely to the street sign. And I'm just going to let that track back and then I'll catch up with you. Okay, as you can see, we've just tracked that backwards and it's sticking really nicely to the street sign. So I'm going to go back to 2050 and we're now going to track forward from there. And we're literally just going to track forward to the point where the street sign clears the area where we're going to put our poster and text onto the wall. Or just actually what we'll do is we'll let it go further and just so it goes off of this wall because we're going to attract this whole plane for the wall here. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that now. Okay, and as you can see, that's done a pretty good job there of tracking that. So now we're going to use this plane our tracking information for the plane that the street sign is on just to do our rotoscoping. Now the good thing with this is if you look at the roto node here, it's created a folder called plane our track layer one. I'm just going to rename that to street sign. Now any rotor that we put into this sort of folder now will use the plane our tracking information and track along with that. So I could actually go and create a completely new rotor. Or in this case, I'm just going to go to 2050 where I created the sort of bezier to create the rotor. I'm just going to tighten that up. And on my previous example, or the previous video for the preview for this, I did break up my shapes a bit more. But for this shot, you can probably get away with just having the whole street sign in one. I'm just going to do really... At the top here, it doesn't really matter as much, but... I'm just going to come in now and pull that in a bit more. Just refine this rotor. 
I'm just going to do it quite roughly now. And then at the end, when we put the sort of poster in the background, you can refine it a lot more and sort of tweak the settings. So if you go through that now, you'll see it sticks even actually quite nicely. And you can go through the frames and just see anywhere where it slips off. You know, you can come in here and just pull that back on. And actually what I'm going to do here just on this frame is I'm just going to extend this roto down. Just zoom in a bit more. I'm just going to extend this all the way down just so it covers. Just so I make sure that it's always covering the whole of the pole. So as you can see, just go through and just tweak that until you're happy with it. going to hold uh, command or control and alt and just create another point just in that okay so I'm just doing this very quick but if you just go through and do the same for your shot just refine it a bit more okay I'm just doing this very quick okay so let's just say that we're happy with that now we're going to create if we just go up here we're going to create a new track layer and what we actually want to do is just move the street sign folder above this one. Okay, so now make sure we highlight in this folder here. And I'm going to go back to, let's have a look. I just want to get a nice frame where I can create the roto for the track data on the, on the wall. So I'm just going to go to frames 2000 for now. And just draw some kind of loose roto sort of to designate this wall, the plane here that this poster is on. So just something like that will probably work for us. And then before I do that, if I click on this, if I push one just to view this roto um, node here, just push A to see the alpha channel, you can see that we have the alpha of both of the Beziers that we created. But what we want to do is we want to actually sort of stencil out or remove the street sign from this um, rotor of the back wall just so that when we track the back wall we don't use that street sign coming across to sort of confuse the tracker so the way we're going to do that is if we just go up here and just change the merge mode here just to minus and that removes it from it so now if you push a again just to go back and now we're going to track forward so we're just going to make sure we click in on this bezier for the back wall. And then if we track forward, we won't have the sort of street sign, which is on a different plane due to parallax. And we don't want that to confuse the tracker. So now that should track quite nicely. And I'm just going to track through and catch up with you once this is tracked right through to the end. Okay, now that we've tracked this, you can see it sticks quite nicely on the wall. But what I am going to do, as I've done in the previous planar tracking tutorial, is just refine the track. So if you wish to know how to do this, if you just watch the previous tutorial, I'll just put a link up there now. Then that will show you how to refine the track. Okay, so now that I am on the reference frame, I'm just going to go in now and drag this box which just designates the area where we want to put our poster in or any of our inserts and it's because we're on the reference frame this won't change any of the tracking data so I'm just going to set this to the corners here you know just sort of a nice feature track where you can see when it's slipping out Okay, I'm now going to go through and just refine the track by just going through some frames and whenever it slips off, I'm just going to adjust that.
Okay, so now that I've done that, you can see the track sticks quite nicely now. I'm going to export the tracking data just for the, if I go to the planar track layer, just export it as a corner pin 2D. So it's given us that over there. Okay, so I'm just going to take that off to the side. And now we're just going to create our poster. And I'm just going to do this very quickly and just create a checkerboard. And what I want to do is just go once again to this reference frame, which was 2000. And I'm now going to just take a copy of this footage and just line it up. What I can actually do is just, just have a look quickly, plug that in. Yeah, so what I need to do now is just, I'm gonna merge the checkerboard just over the background, just, for, just to sort of line this up. And now it's just laying on top of it. So if I push tab and type in corner pin, just attach that here. And as you can see with my corner pin, I've got these two dots here. So if I just drag them to, or we'll make sure that they're on the corners, which they are. And then over here, if I just click copy from, so the copies where they come from, and then if you now just drag them down, You can now just line this up onto your wall. And then if you plug in your tracking data that we got from the planar tracker, that should stick onto your wall now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is as you can see, we've got that, that's merged over and it tracks nicely. We're gonna apply the motion blur. So in this case, we're gonna do it the same way we did it before. Just put motion blur 2D followed by vector blur. We're gonna plug this in, plug both pipes into the corner pin and double click on the motion blur and you can see the output UVs on motion. And if we now go to the vector blur and just make sure we match that up there, we've got the motion blur in there. And as you can see, we need to remove the sign from this poster. So we're just gonna do that by creating a merge node and then changing the operation to stencil. What we're gonna do now is we just delete that or we'll just copy this over here. And we'll just plug in, we're gonna merge the A, so we're just gonna look at this rotor pay here. And we just want to we just want to basically remove the street sign. So if we just put, either turn that off there or just delete the back wall track from that. And then if we stencil that out, so we stencil A from B. If we look at that now, before this merge, if I just remove that merge, plug that in here. So we've got our poster there. And then if we stencil that out, Oh yeah, one thing to remember is to just change this from minus to over now. And there we go. So if you look at the alpha, just of the um, street sign, and then you remove it from there, that's what you get. Okay, so now if we merge with a normal over, we'll merge this. So our poster here. 
just over the background. And that should give us the poster with the sign removed. And if we play through that now, you can see that that works quite nicely. All we have to do is just refine the rotate places. Just tweak that where you need to tweak it. And that is how you do it. So if you want to add text or anything to this poster, you just do that right here. So if I just pinch the text that I created for the last one, and if I just put that in here, so if I merge that, just over there, you can see it's now added the text. So just for this shot, it's just a case of refining the roto now, and that is basically the complete shot. It's just, like I said, a case of refining everything and getting it all to work nicely together. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave your comments below and be sure to follow us on Twitter and the Facebook fan page. See you next time.